Good day and welcome to another episode of African Business with I, Yvonne Chinoye. Today we are at Ikorodo in the heart of Lagos, Nigeria. We are right here at the Fish Farm Estate. Yes, we are talking to a fish farmer and we're going to tell you how you can invest in this business plus the profit and the losses and why this is a good business for you to invest. Let's go talk to the fish farmer. I'm sure by the time this is over, you'll be so glad you watched this episode because you're going to learn how to invest or perhaps not just throw your money in but decide to actually be a fish farmer yourself so let's go talk to this fish farmer we'll be right back mr abdu is very nice to have you on african business tell us about fish farming how long have you done this business for uh, you're welcome i've been in this uh, fish business since 2016 okay. after when i retired from my office in victoria Island. Okay. so what were you doing prior to fish farming i'm an accountant by profession okay. So fish farming was just what to do to make money instead of just staying home idle? One, two, I think it's not so, so tedious as in office work. Okay. So that makes me think it's better for me to retire that way mm -hmm. and um, f put food, food on, my, on my family's table and stuff like that. Awesome. So you said it's not so tedious. For me, if I want to start or for whoever is watching, if they want to start this business, what is the process? Is, like, we're not even talking about money. What is the process is to set this up? Because we can see uh, containers and water and all of that. So how tedious or how easy is this to set up this fish farm? Our fish farm is of two, of two types. Some are using ethnic pond. Ethnic pond is refining, refining areas. Okay. Yeah, some are using concrete. Some are using tarpaulin like this. But tarpaulin and concrete, they put them together as surface fish farming. Those who are using ethnic ponds are using referral area. They will dig ground and stuff like that. So for every, for every business you want to do in life, you have to come with a model. Mm -hmm. How do I want to do it? How do I want to expand the business within my own concept? Mm -hmm. So basically, it depends on the nature of the business you have in mind or the template you have in mind to do your business. For this template that you have, and if I want to do this, how easy is it? What, how much did it cost you to do this? Uh, basically, this is a uh, Lagos State Government um, acquisition area for fish farming, okay. basically. Um, it's allocation from Lagos State Government. You get allocation from Lagos State Government through Minister of Agriculture. So, because on a monthly basis, we, we take average of 18,000 pieces of fingerlings or juveniles to start growing the fish. Uh, to be modest about it, it will cost around down to like 8 to 9 million naira. It took nine million to st invest in this fish farm. Now, this kind, this kind of model we are having here. Mm -hmm. like I said it. You have, must have a model in mind. How do you want to do it? This kind of model I'm having here mm -hmm. is around eight to nine million naira. Okay, so if I have eight to nine million and I can do this, okay. So how do I get my money? How how is it a daily income? Is it a weekly income? Is it a monthly income? And if yes, how much do I make? Uh, for fish farming, you must you have a moratorium. Moratorium is about when you're starting, you've seen the small, smaller fishes we are, we are, we are seeing there. Mm -hmm. They will take you around four months before you start having money from fish farming. Mm -hmm. From fingerlings to juvenile, juvenile to medium size, middle to melon. Okay, so basically, sir, let's talk about the profit again. You talked about the fi uh, fingerlings to the sizes. Yes, okay. we get that. But in summary, if I am profitable, how much can I make in with after waiting for four months for the fish to get to a sellable and eatable age? How much do I make? From experience, you have around 35 to 45 percent return on capital employed. Okay. That is to say, you you will be able to comfortably after all expenses mm -hmm. to make up to 35 to 45 percent of the money invested. Which is the nine million or the eight million? Yes. If you want to do it in, in a small, substant way, mm -hmm. you can do 300,000 worth of investments. Mm -hmm. You still get something like 35 to 45% on return. Okay, so I can invest with 300,000 minimum and then still get 30 to 45% of it. of it, yes. Okay, profit. But for losses, you mentioned off camera that fishes tend to eat themselves and then they you cannibalize. They cannibalize. They cannibalize. So, how do I curtail that so I don't? lose all my fishes when they are eating, busy eating each other up. You change their water frequently. 
and then you feed them adequately. That's the word, adequately. How do I know they are being properly fed? There's a chart of feeding that you need to follow from feed houses and from consultants. Once we, uh, once we strict, strictly to that, it will minimize, minimize, minim, uh, minimize your, your mortality rate. Okay, so based... It's inevitable. It's inevitable, but you can minimize it. Minimize it. Okay. Minimize it. Okay. It's inevitable. So basically, there's profit in this business, and the losses is to make sure you feed the fishes adequately. Okay, so how much does the feed? Are you checking how much does the feed cost? And when we add that up to the profit, does it still to the cost price? Does, do we still are we still within the 35 percent to 40? Yes. yes, yes. Even with the feed. With the feeds. Yes. Because it it, it synchronizes. Once the feed is increasing from the supplier, then the prices also increases. Mm -hmm. So it pays off. On, on a rub off. Okay. Awesome. Great. So you would advise people to invest in fish farming? It's good. It's good. Let's 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 go into our culture. Okay. Let's feed people. You've heard it all from Mr. Abdul. Listen, you don't have to wait until you have 8 million or 9 million to start the fish farming business. You can start with 300,000. Don't forget that this is not exactly a small scale business. This is a medium scale business. So you can start with 300,000. You can have a big space or a somewhat presentable space for the fishes. You can have somewhere you can put a lot of water and you must have time to change the water frequently and feed the fish is adequately just imagine investing 300,000 naira and making 30 35 percent to 45 percent profit in four months that's not bad you know that's just extra stream of income aside from your normal hustle even if that's your only hustle you're still making money you don't have to sit at home idle complaining about the government complaining about the economy complaining about what kind of year have we had do something start somewhere you can start from the other episodes like the smaller like tomatoes or the yam or you can start from this medium scale that is why we are here on african business with i Ivan chino to open your eyes to investment opportunities where you probably would overlook now you're seeing now you're thinking now you're thinking i can put my money here i only have to wait four months and i'm going to get this money back and my profits will still be intact this is not a this is not a, a scam this is for real so please start investing don't forget that african business with i is brought from the stables of Keleji Uwama Television Productions. Thank you so much to him and thank you so much to my crew for making this happen. Until another episode of African Business with I, your girl Yvonne Chinoye. Stay safe and see you soon. Keep investing!